When you think of the worst performances in Thanksgiving history, what pops into your mind? You might think of Kellen Clemens posting a 45.6 passer rating and going 12 for 27 against the Cowboys in 2007. You might think of Leon Lett's infamous blunder against the Dolphins in 1993, which wasn't even the most iconic blunder of Lett's career. And you might think of, I don't even have to say it, you all know what this play is. But when you think of players who squander their opportunity on Turkey Day, you probably don't think of a long snapper. And yet in 1991, one long snapper who is currently sitting in canon right now as a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame had just about the worst game of all time. This is the story of the worst long snapper performance in NFL history. Here's the context behind the situation. It's November 28, 1991, and the Dallas Cowboys are taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers in their annual Thanksgiving game. This is a pretty big game for both teams. For Pittsburgh, they absolutely need a win here. The number six seed in the AFC, as things stand, is sitting at seven and five, and the Steelers are two back at five and seven with four to play. A loss here would essentially be the nail in the coffin for their playoff hopes. As for Dallas, they need a win here too. There's four teams tied at seven and five for the final two wildcard spots. So if Dallas wants to make it to the postseason for the first time under Jimmy Johnson and the first time since 1985, then a win here would go a long way. The bad news for them on paper is that Troy Aikman is out, meaning that Steve Berline was getting his first ever start for the Cowboys and his first start in the NFL since he was a member of the Los Angeles Raiders in 1989. The good news for them, however, is that the Steelers' long snapper is about to have the worst day of his life, and one of the worst days for any long snapper in NFL history. Dermani Dawson is one of the best centers in NFL history. He made it to seven straight Pro Bowls from 1992 to 98. He was an anchor on Pittsburgh's offensive line in the 1990s, and was named the first team center on the All-1990s team. And not only has he received praise from coaching legends like Bill Cower and Bill Belichick, but he is a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But as a long snapper, yeah, not so much. He doubled up as both during this season, which you don't see too often nowadays. And on this Thanksgiving day, at long snapper, he struggled mightily. On Pittsburgh's second drive of the game, he delivered a high snap to Dan Straczynski. Maybe you can argue that Straczynski should have held on to it, but he had to move laterally and jump, so that is a bit harsh on the punter. It's a bad snap by Dawson. Fast forward to the second quarter, and Straczynski is back to punt yet again. And once again, the snap is atrocious. Whereas maybe you can give Dawson the benefit of the doubt on the first snap, there is no way on this snap that Straczynski is at fault here. Twice in the first half, Dawson cost the Steelers costly field position with awful snaps. The Cowboys scored on that drive as well. You know it's not good when the broadcast has multiple extended camera shots on the long snapper. But don't worry, it gets worse. In the third quarter, Gary Anderson was lining up for a 42-yard field goal. Somehow, Straczynski is able to hold on to this, and Anderson is able to drill it because he's one of the best kickers in NFL history. But this snap rolls to the holder. Whereas on the punts, Dawson was putting too much mustard on the snaps, on the spiel goal, he put no mustard on it whatsoever. Many long snappers don't even have three bad snaps in an entire season. And Ramani Dawson had three in one game. The Steelers lost 20-10 because, of course, Steve Berline had a fantastic day. Because as I mentioned in yesterday's video, which you can check out in the upper right corner, every Cowboys backup quarterback who plays on Thanksgiving develops superpowers. And it also doesn't help when the one time Dawson actually gave a good snap, you deliver one of the worst kicks I've ever seen in my life. And no, this kick was not blocked. After the game, reporters wanted to interview Dawson and George Stewart, the special teams coach. Again, always a great sign when reporters want to interview the long snapper and the special teams coach. Dawson said on his performance, well, nothing. He left the stadium before the reporters arrived. When Stewart was asked a question about Dawson's poor play, Stewart said, go ask Dawson. After reporters informed him that Dawson left, Stewart did the natural thing, which was to tell the reporters to get away from him while yelling expletives and threatening a reporter if they quoted him in the paper. Spoiler alert, judging by the article you're seeing on your screen right now, they quoted him in the paper. You know your performance is bad when the special teams coach is not only calling you out, but is out there threatening reporters. In 1992, the Steelers drafted a long snapper, Dawson would just stay at center, which safe to say worked out pretty well for him, as Dawson is one of the best centers of all time. But as for his long snapping ability, after this debacle on Thanksgiving, the less said, the better.
Be sure to like this video, ring the notification bell, and subscribe down below if you haven't already, as it helps the channel out a lot. And be sure to check out Twitch every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern for your chance to play NFL trivia and win cash prizes. Link in the description below. If you want to see videos like this condensed down to 60 seconds, then follow me on TikTok at JaguarGator9 and subscribe to 60 Second NFL History on YouTube. Also, special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters for the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. So you can become a patron and request future video topics in the description below.